can you tell people what's fixing to happen today? Because we were dying to know. What is it? <laughs> well, I'm trying to find <clears throat> Me and Dad was up here yesterday and uh, got between two gobblers. Uh, you'd think that'd be a good situation, but uh, didn't get nothing to happen. I had uh, one gobbler come down on the flat in a field up above us where Dad's got a ground blind set up. He was probably within 20 yards of that uh, blind. I was actually picking him up yesterday to go to another property. Showed up a little late, and these birds were up here gobbling, so we abandoned that, obviously, and went up here. So, uh, Dad called me yesterday, the same bird is gobbling in the same flat yesterday evening. Probably gonna roost the same spot, so me and Randy's got up here real, real early this morning. So we're gonna try to sneak up here in the dark, get in the blind. Um, hopefully we won't bust this turkey off the roost. It's gonna be difficult because he's probably gonna be right on top of us, but we got the old longbow. It's been a mission this year. So uh hopefully it'll pay some dividends today, we'll see. Sounds good, man. All right, man. Let's get to killing. Let's get it. starting to break daylight. It should be gobbling time. Uh, haven't heard anything yet, but it's, it's just right about time. So regardless, we're going to make a little stand right here. It's been a good spot in the past for when we come to strut. So uh, hopefully the plan works and we made it up here in time and hopefully get an opportunity. We'll see. What's that called? I think it was. I do not know. I'm not sure where, but... You can't beat the view this morning, can you, baby? No, it looks pretty. Beautiful sunrise. It's nice. <clears throat> okay, let's just give an update here. Well, we've been sitting here this morning, heard some our gobbles as y'all heard it's been kind of slow and just a few few seconds ago we hear a goose flying over Randy thinks he hears a gobble and just right over the hill here matter of fact it's about where that coyote spooked that one uh, that one's at? yeah yeah that's probably about where's that off down in there so he just gobbled over here so he's probably making his way up here to the strut zone so gonna get ready just when in case yeah when they get ready now. yeah Pack it in today. We've had, we both got some work stuff going on. We've got to do, and it's about sums up the turkey season. We uh, in this gobbler strut zone. As a matter of fact, he was gobbling. I'm sure you heard it coming right up the hill where I was set up with Dad uh, when I had my turkey fan. Uh, when the coyote spooked him, uh, it's been a few weeks ago. 
coming right in on top of us up the hill gobbling probably just without just outside eyesight i would say yeah had some cows over on the other property moving around uh, we think he might have got spooked or something happened uh didn't hear him gobbling for a few minutes and out on the far end on the other property heard a gobble don't know if that's him or not if he'd looped around but it's pretty much played out for the day i thought we had a pretty good solid plan and I really believe had it been for the cows, been maybe a little bit different outcome. I do too. So we'll try it again though. Bill, I want to do this before we leave now. I mean, we've blind hunted for years, ain't we? In blinds? Well, I mean, not a whole bunch, but uh, yeah. over the years. Over the years, yeah, we've been in blinds. Yeah. Not my first choice. No, no, I'm not. I'm not really a blind person either. No. But there's certain times that you just you have to or you just have to do it or whatever yeah. you know but it's the first time i've ever hunted more one with the with the coffee table well i, I don't up, know what to think about this i mean we're up here at dad's and uh this is dad's blind he's got another one up top and uh he spares no expense on comfort no i mean i mean you talking about like here these are some real chairs right here oh we're comfortable i mean let's Let's get the name here, and that way you might want to oh, yeah. get you one. I mean, nice. zero gravity. Yeah, I got your coffee table. And you got the coffee table right here. I mean, the only thing we're missing is a, a real quiet generator and a coffee. Yeah, I thought maybe a little TV. Maybe a little TV, plug. yeah. I mean, you can. Uh, I will say one thing. It takes a lot of patience sitting in a ground blind. <laughs> uh, my dad's blessed with patience. Yeah. I am not. And sometimes that bites me turkey hunting. Uh, I just like to go and go and go and run and run and run. Randy, you can vouch for this. I'm a run and gun. Yeah. Ride or guy. die. Ride or die, no matter what they're doing. Yeah. That's one of my downfalls. So to sit here in the ground blind, even for a couple hours, is rough. Yeah. I mean, we heard one guy went on this ridge the other day, this morning, and it took a lot to not just try to bust out here move around and get on top of him yeah but when you're long bowing it that's that's, that's very tough so it's yeah. a little bit different than shotgun so i mean you you're just like your dad you're a micromanager you're you know what i'm saying you got a lot of your traits but the dang on patience trait son it's it, 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 it skipped generation <laughs> i do not have it i, I might have them i have more patience than you yeah i've uh <laughs> Uh, I struggle with it. I struggle with yeah. it. I mean, I, I could see how many times though we was up on the mountain where you just said, "Hey, let's go run one more bend," and it just happened. So, oh, I've got to, yeah. I mean, I, I'm a die. That's where that running gun comes into play at, where you just can't be still, you know. Yeah. So. That's kind of like you know, ever know you get you getting closer to a yes. You there know, you so <laughs> just keep on <old> rolling. <laughs> something be so frustrating but yet so enjoyable it's like one of them love hate relationships <laughs> yeah that's what it is love them to death one minute won't kill them the next but i feel turkeys <laughs> Clay Hayes said, I hate turkeys. Yeah, that's what he said. It's a little more stronger than that. But yeah, it's, a little, it's quite a bit. It's, uh, actually, a lot of hatred there. Yeah, it's a lot of pent up frustration. <laughs> <laughs> I feel you, Clay. Yeah. I've come to the realization I might not kill one this year. Ah, it's still early. It's still early. I told you I ain't putting it down till I kill something though. I know, you've you held strong to it. It bleeds the deer season, it bleeds over in deer season, it just bleeds over. Yeah. That, hey, a little old button butt better look out over today. <laughs> All I can say if it's illegal, I'm, I'm drawing. <laughs> Reckon we should give a little cow here? Or no? Yeah, go ahead. That was a hen, I think, that was. I don't know. Maybe. 
I believe it's that hen that been messing up there. Dude, that thing was five yards. <laughs> hey, we're on the right track.